Hey, I'm Lindsay Sterling, and you're watching B-Boy 45. Violinist Lindsay Sterling hung out with us at the Children's Hospital Colorado. Some of Lindsay's biggest fans got to ask her questions, make song requests, and introduce her to Backwards Forwards. Check it out. Why did you start um, making music? I'd played the violin since I was six, but I kind of lost um, my passion for it when I was in my teens. You know, why don't I love this anymore? And I was like, well, I should play the kind of music I like. And so I started writing to rock music and, you know, and hip hop and electronica, and it just made me love it again. How long did it take you to start your career and what made you decide to work this hard? There was probably a good two years where I was, you know, playing in bands, I was going to record labels and try, you know, trying so many different things and just nobody was interested. And then um, after about two years of nothing, um, I started my YouTube channel and that's when things really started to work finally and I found, I found my niche. I would say what makes me work so hard is the fact that I genuinely love what I do. Jacqueline, did you have a question? Yeah. So the question was, if you could have a year's yeah. supply of cotton candy in any flavor, what flavor would you choose? If, it's a tough one. If cake batter could be a cotton candy flavor, that's what I would have. Austin, did you have a question over there? Well, he doesn't have a mic, so I'll repeat it. If you can combine the sounds of two different instruments to create a new instrument, what would you do and what sound would it make? That is a really cool question. Um, I love the <laughs> so harp. So the mouth trumpet is number oh, one. That, sorry, yeah. that, that was a false answer. I love the harp and just the way you can they can hit so many different notes at the same time, you know, and fast. And I'm going to say the flute. It could be this sprightly little harpy flute. What would you call it? The flarp. The flarp. <laughs> of course. Excellent. Abby, did you have a question for Lindsay? If you could bring to life any fictional character from a book or a movie, what would you choose? I think I would bring to life Mulan, because that's one of my favorite Disney movies, and she could teach me how to like fight like a man. You've got names for your instruments, is that right? I do, yes. This is Excalibur. It's because this was like my weapon against the world when I first started, you know, to pursue music. This is yeah. my this is my only violin at the time. What are you gonna play for us? I am going to play. Uh, well, does someone have a request? <laughs> um, round table rival. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. told that you might be playing a little bit of a music game with us. So this okay. is the name of that tune. If you guys can tell what tune she's playing, raise your hand really quick. Oh, oh, we got hands up everywhere. Okay, Abby. A whole new world. A whole there new world, go. nice. All right. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Rebecca, good job. Harry Potter? <gasps> yes. Yeah, nice, hey. Charlie. Good job, Charlie. All right, so we have a game that we make everybody play here. Okay. Let's go backwards, forwards. Lindsay Sterling, Shatter Me. Hey, Murdash. Hey, Miller. Season it. Do they always sound that weird? Yes. That, I just found a new game for the bus. Miller yeah. <laughs> Dash. Miller Sneasel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is Lindsay Sterling saying, Lindsay Sterling, Shatter Me on Backwards Forwards here in the Seacrest studio. Let's see how it turned out. Oh, Zine Sterling, Shatterling. Yeah! <laughs> nice. Lindsay hung out with the kids, signed autographs, and took pictures too. Thanks to Lindsay Sterling for making our day here at the Seacrest Studios in Children's Hospital, Colorado. We hope you come back and visit again. Jesus!